What's going on YouTube? It's Chris back in the captain's quarters. We've sort of muddled the bar around a little bit just to try and get a bit of a... There we go, look at that. Hey, it's amazing what happens when you actually play the lenses. So anyway, it's Chris back in the captain's quarters. Uh, it's January, guys. Wow, where's the year? Where's last year gone? It flew. So, do you know what? Let's kick this video off with a little bit of a thank you. So I'm just under 250 subscribers now. Um, and do you know what? I can't thank you all enough. It is, it means a lot. It really does mean a lot. Um, channel's slowly growing. I've got some big plans for 2024. Um, hopefully we'll get the viewer count up a little bit. We'll get the subscriber count up a lot. And we will do as much as we can to improve what I'm doing on the channel. Um, so before we get started, please hit that subscribe button just below. And, you know, let's get some numbers going, guys. But anyway, so... A few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, about a week ago, I put a post in the keg exchange and it was just to go and try and rate or what, well, basically keg of the year. Now, I was really shocked, like, by what the actual keg of the year was, to be honest with you. Um, for me, I didn't think it was amazing, um, but you know what? Everyone's got their own opinions of stuff. Um, so I put it in the keg exchange. Let me just go. Video went to keg exchange Facebook group and we had lots and lots of votes. Um, some of the some of the offers were obviously Hurt on Grand Pills there. Uh, hop skipped and juiced. We had uh, Frankenstein and Killer Beer. Uh, I put some Rod Dodge one in there, like um, I think I put on. What, what else went on? Uh, we put some of the IPAs on there. Hopped in Harmony for a laugh and the Camden IPA. A few people added a few other ones. Uh, Frank Zanero got added, and also to the new Mao, 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 How. Lag was added. Um, do you know what? It was, I wouldn't say it was close. Um, what I thought would have been keg of the year wasn't. Um, so, you know, I was a little bit shocked. And, but do you know what? We've had some cracking kegs this year. Well, last year, I should say 18, you know what I mean? That's a lot of kegs. Um, I've just got my phone up now to get the screenshots of it. Um, and when I find the gallery, you think I'd have prepared for this video, wouldn't you? Uh, if only. It's all real here, guys. All real. So I took the screenshots, and I've got loads of screenshots of other random stuff on my phone. Um, people send me pictures of turkeys and all sorts. Um, but obviously, we took the screenshots of the thing because we closed it on Christmas. No, Boxing Day, I closed it. Um, so. Without further ado, what actually shocked me the most was, so, just to confirm, we had Hurt on Grand Pilsner, we had Hop Skips and Juice, we had Frankenstein and Kelebier, Mahal, and Delric Premium, I've never had that, um, and Frankenstein and Royal. So they, they were the options you could have had. Um, so... Without further ado, with 44% of the vote, 45% of the votes was, uh, oh, was right in front of me now. Um, it is a few days old now because obviously I've been so busy, but it's not an excuse. So with 11% of the votes was Hop, Skips and Juice. 34% of the votes was Frank Sider Calabria. Mao got 3%. Delric Premium got 1%. Frank Sandro got four votes, and the clear winner, which it shocked me, but it's each their own, was the, excuse me, Hurt on Grand Pills, and there were 45% of the votes. So, that is the People's Keg of the Year, guys. Hurt on Grand Pills now. I'm going to get it again, just so I can find out if it's as good as it is. I don't think it is, but hey. So, guys, this is Chris in the Captain's Quarters. We've done the Hurt on Grand Pills now as a review. I'll link my review up here. Um, Elric Paul's over there and Simo's down there. Um, however it works, I'll probably link them below. Um, of the Grand Pills now, just so you can see what people thought of it. But, you know, 2024, it's going to be a big year for the channel. It's going to be a big year for me personally. I've got lots of life changes coming up. Um, new employment, all sorts of crazy things going on. But anyway, that's probably for another video. So, guys, this is Chris in the Captain's Quarters. Your keg of the year was... Hurt on Grand Pilsner. Anyway, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch. If you've managed to stay this far, listen to my shite. If you've not, then you've dipped. But anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch. This is Chris in the Captain's Quarters with another video for you. Peace out. Catch you in the next one.